the Consumer Electronics Show is overwhelming. It's an annual gadget freak out in which uh, massage chairs and self-driving cars and robotic babysitters are all shouting at you for attention. But this year, they are also talking to each other. And that's because of two new technologies, high-speed 5G wireless internet and artificial intelligence. And all of that led us to wonder, well, if all of these devices are going to be in sync with one another, well, then how safe is your data? This week in Las Vegas, more than 4,000 tech companies are showing off the future. Well, a really shiny, expensive version of it anyway. From Samsung's Design Your Own TV, expandable from a mere 12-inch screen up to almost two stories tall, to artificially intelligent robot helpers for the elderly. New gadgets for your kitchen, like a touchscreen oven that walks you through the recipe. I can see just how badly I burned it and didn't garnish it properly. <laughs> and a fresh bread vending machine. Google and Amazon are battling to be your ever-present assistant, using new faster 5G technology to more quickly process what you're saying. Artificial intelligence is the ingredient of the show. It's the future because that allows products to be smart and more responsive and predictive of needs of consumers. Pretty much everything here connects to the Internet. And as tech companies collect more of your data, privacy questions are everywhere. Apple does not usually show up here, but this year it must have sensed the mood. A 13-story ad on a building near the expo reads, what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. A clear shot at competitors under fire for selling consumer data. After a year where big companies like Facebook, Amazon, Marriott, and Ticketmaster lost customer data to hackers, here in Vegas, a balancing act for tech giants offering entertainment and convenience in exchange for knowing more about you than ever before. It used to be, you know, that you would only trust, let's say, a bank, you know, maybe a credit card company with all of this personal information. But it's important to understand that these days, every company in this building stands to gain from watching you and trying to predict what you are going to do next. Now, they may not have any experience keeping your secrets, but as we've seen here, they definitely have the ability to gather your data, you guys. So, so Jacob, what should someone who's, who's watching right now, what should they be thinking about before they go out and buy one of those fridges or one of those ovens that's collecting all of the information? You know, Craig, I would say that the number one thing is read the boring privacy policy. It's sometimes called the terms and conditions that come with these devices. Do that before you click agree on any new piece of software or hardware. I mean, you know, the, the, the thing is, you, you, this is a new skill. It's something we're all going to have to learn how to do. But it's becoming clear that it's going to be more and more important to have those skills before we start bringing all this technology into our home, you guys. All right. Jacob Ort, welcome to the family, by the way. Welcome to the Peacock, Jacob. Thank you. Thanks, Jacob. Guys, it's one of the highlights of my life to be with you. Thank <laughs> oh, you so much. Thanks, Thanks. Bring home one of those self-cooking ovens, too. <laughs> okay, all right, I will. Yeah.